Welcome back to East Texas Live. Amber's here with the city of Tyler, and I have to say she has quite the list of events coming up. I'm going to let you go. You do your thing. You let us know what's coming up. Yeah, so many that I had to write them yes. down to make sure, and I still miss some, I'm sure. So downtown Tyler is going to be booming with events all week, week and week and long. So starting Thursday, the Tyler Public Library is joining forces with the ETX Burn Company and holding an adult spelling bee. That's cool. So it's, yeah, so it's, there are lots of prizes. Of course, you'll be able to get some drinks from ETX. So it's 18 and above to participate. They're still accepting people to sign up. So just go to their Facebook page, find the event, and you can sign up from there. Awesome. And then go into Friday. Friday, you have all types of music opportunities. At Liberty Hall, Johnny Bush would be there. He's a country singer. Garage Bar, Ricks, ETX, they all will have bands going out there. So live music, downtown Tyler, Friday. And then starting also on Friday is the first 2019 Rose City Music Festival at Caldwell Arts Academy. So they're cl closing down some streets, doing a full Friday and Saturday ordeal. It's to bring awareness of local artists, um, all type of genres. So they're going to have activities for kids, activities for adults, music on stages all both days. So the passes are very affordable. It's 5 to $10 for a day pass. You can get one for uh, both days for a 15 to $20, depending on your age. Great. So it's a great event for kids to come down, come to downtown Tyler, check out uh, the Arts Academy and everything they're offering, and just kind of influence your kids and your family with the arts. Yeah. Especially we have such a deep culture here in Tyler, and this is a great way to showcase it. Perfect. And then Saturday blows up even more. We got so much stuff. Um, Card 53, our improv group that is from here. They're great. If you haven't been to see one of their shows, you definitely have to come see one of them. It's so fun because each show is different because it's improv. Right. Yep. So you come down to Liberty Hall. Um, that they have that showing there. You can go to LibertyTyler.com to get some tickets from there. And then we have Avengers Trivia with the whole in-game coming ah, up. It's a big deal. Yes, yeah, so you <laughs> have the, the uh, opportunity to actually get tickets to the in-game. Great. So come there, test your knowledge and all, all the information at ETX. And then they also, rolling into that, is a 90s party. So bring out your 90s gear. <laughs> Scrunchies. Yes, <laughs> scrunchies. And they have, it's so funny, they have all the cartoons on there. and So they have all different information. So hit back the 90s, and it's also joined with a crawfish boil. Perfect. So it's crawfish season, so everyone's coming out with a crawfish. And then we also, last Saturday was actually the opening of Rose City Farmer's Market. So we're real excited to have them downtown. And so, again, this Saturday and every Saturday till probably about October, November, they'll be down there. So bring in a little bag and come out. We'll have about 15 to 18 vendors out there. And it is at the, um, right across the street from the Fair Plaza parking garage and just south of Bill's Unclaimed Furniture. Well, wonderful. Any last ones you want to plug really quick? Yes. Just so, out of time. I know. So 2019, big event. We have a collaboration between all the colleges. Uh, UT Tyler, T TJC, and Texas College students are coming down to do community events um, in the downtown Tyler. And then the Mini Maker Market is this Saturday as well. So still get your tickets for that. Well, wonderful. There is no excuse to stay home this weekend. Nope. You have to go downtown. Too many fun things. <laughs>